Some days I just don't know why things are happening. Maybe some people think most days I don't know why things are happening, but Demi Vollering, she put people in the spin cycle today. Flesh will learn women, finish it on Murder We. Marta Cavalli cleaned it up last year. Big upset trek here with Longabogini and Riolini. Mulman on AG Insurance. The juggernaut SD works here with Vollering as the favorite against Lippert and Van Vlerden, both obviously good on this finish. The final is similar to the men's race. You know it well. They do the Cote de Chauve. They do three laps of the Murder We, and it's like 1.1 Ks, you know, 11% with a 16% pinch. Very nasty, hard finish. Nalan Ella Harris in the break with Anderson, and these road dividers took out or was a crash with Neve Bradbury, but also with Ludwig, who had to change bike there. And this is the second last Cote de Chirave. Not as decisive as the last one, where it kicked off surprisingly, but Riolini, who, if you haven't seen, she was cooking on Jabel her feet in the Women's UAE Tour this year. Go back and watch that video. She's either caught out of position, or I don't know what happened there, but she has to do a huge effort to get back onto the group on this climb. Luckily for her, they, no one really took it upon themselves to pace it super hard. You can see her bridging across that spec in the distance and she was able to get back on because, yeah, we've still got 44 k's to go over an hour of racing. Cavalli dropped, though, at this point. She was one of the only riders with still a gilet on. Uh, maybe she doesn't like the cooler conditions and really needs back on, fortunately for her, because she's very, very slight before the fast ascent and the flat afterwards, where it would have cost her a lot to get back onto the group. But here's the second last murder we, and Movistar are up to something. They'd been pacing and with Erich, and now Van Vleuten starts to move to the front. And she goes, well, it's actually Mulman and Nuvia Doma who really push, and then AVV follows with them, and it's Longa Borghini bridging across. Where's SD Works? Vara's SD Works, huh? They're nowhere to be seen on the second murder we. This is a great move, putting Volering under pressure here with Shabby, with Lippert, sitting in the wheel while her teammates from the four other big rival teams, Mulman, Canyon Shram, Trek Segafredo, and Team Movistar with Van Lurten with big co-leaders here up the road, this is a good move to put SD Works under pressure, and luckily for them, for SD Works, they only had five riders, one of which is the leader. They had Royce, who's world champ, vice champion, rather, in the uh, time trial, and Vollering even has to close it herself before the last code to Sharab. And then she's counted by Sharon Van Anroy. So Trek wanted to be super aggressive, and Kane and Shram go at that. Vollering has to move again. Trek go again. But Spratt needed a buddy. She needed someone from Movistar, someone from Canyon Shram or AG who were in the move behind, and she didn't get their help. She gets 51 seconds with Movistar helping out because they missed it. SD Works chasing behind. They pace with Mackay, Neve Fisher Black, and Royster, and Bredevold there as well. And so we, with these flat roads, and there's a crash behind. This is Ludwig again, and she tries to get back on, but that rear derailleur is kaput. That's her race finished. These flat roads really did for Spratt before Cote de Chirave. 7.6 k's to go. And following moves here, I couldn't, I was really, really surprised. I thought SD Works had it completely under control. They got Fisher Black, they got teammates take Vollering into good position the base of Murder We and thank you very much for coming. She'll clean it up, but she moves it. And it's not like a full, it's not an attack. It's like a heavy pace which drops Makai, but drops her teammates most importantly. And so it creates a selection because if she really attacked, it's a thinner group than this. And now we've got four and a half Ks of downhill or flat to the finish. We've got two Canyon Shram, Shabby and Nivea Doma, I believe, Lippert, and Anami Van Vleuten from Movistar. Mulman's on her own. And we also have further down the group, two from Trek Segafredo, Riolini and Longo Borghini. Mavi Garcia's on her own. Persico's on her own as well. So the solo riders, I'm not going to give them too much grief, but surely, and Vollering was expecting it here, and I think Nuvia Doma just rolls off the front. She wasn't even planning to attack, and then she's like, oh, it might, maybe I should attack because Vollering's isolated, but doesn't really commit to it. And this is the only half a sort of move from any of the group. Vollering's like, why aren't you rolling attacks on me? Because if you go to the finish with Vollering, you are going to lose if you don't put her under pressure. Based on what we just saw in Sharav in Amstel Gold Race, it's the best puncher in the world right now. And Van Vleuten got half dropped on Cote de Sharav. Now, Riolini for Trek, she can't do it. She's too small on the flat roads. Vollering's going to close it down easily. And she's probably their best climbing option for the murder. We, and Vollering's looking again. Elisa Longaborghini and Annemiek van Vleuten, Trek and Movistar, they missed an opportunity here to really put Vollering under pressure and make her close attacks on the flat to 
put Riolini and Lippert in a seat. And I was really surprised. Now, Shabby and Via Doma, that, you know, you can see, I think, Shabby on the radio to the car. What should we do? Should we roll attacks? Again, they probably would have been better off, definitely better off, I think, if they moved here. But they didn't. And basically, Vollering just never gets attacked by these three teams with multiple riders. And they sort of just let have a free ride to the finish. Van Anroy comes back, just paces. Vollering's in a nice pocket, about fourth wheel, drafting Moorman and cash the line. Lippert's a bit deeper in the group, and Elisa Longoborghini's just going to take her chances on the murder wee, but those chances aren't good. Lippert starts in bad position too with a K to go. She's well off the wheel of Vollering, and when Vollering kicks, someone's going to lose that wheel. And I think it's Shabby loses her teammate Nivea Doma's wheel when Vollering really accelerates to the base. Lippert gets boxed in a little bit around the right-hand bend coming up and she can't move up. And this is race over. Just like Anna van der did a bike seven, ten, a dozen times. She did choo-choo, beginning of murder wee. I'm going to ride you all off my, off my wheel and just do my best power because I know I'm the best. Vollering did exactly the same thing to great effect. And could it have been different? If she had to close down four or five attacks from strong riders like Longoborghini and Van Vleuten on the flat before, maybe it would have been closer because Lippert, it's not like she won by 25 seconds. At this point, Lippert, when Nuvia Doma cracked, Lippert started a bit steadier, gets back to the wheel of Vollering with 300 meters to go, but look at the upper body difference. Vollering solid as a rock, Lippert all over the bike, and she gets rid of her off her wheel with about 200 meters to go powering away, not even looking back, Riolini coming from behind with Nuvia Doma going backwards. Whether it's a grimace or a smile, Vollering, I think, already knows she's won at this point. She does. Best rider on course, bringing Flesh Wallone back to SD Works, where it's belonged for the best part of the last decade. Lippert in second, Riolini, a huge third from her, probably her best performance of, or result of her career. Mava Garcia fourth, Muzic fifth, and Mulman Pasio Van Vleuten, Persico Shabby, and Yara Kastelein. Here's what Volering had to say after the stage. Two podium places, you finally made it, you won the Flesh Wallon. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels amazing. Uh, my team did a really good job today, and uh, I did not feel so good. I was really nervous, and uh, I think I was really nervous because I was already pretty close here, two times third. But always I came too short on the climb, and I was very nervous to have that today again. But yeah, my teammates, they, they keep me really focused and uh, they really believed in me and yeah, it was really important for me because because of them I, I came through and I uh, just tried. But that's two of the three, Vollering is one Amstel Gold race and Flesh will learn can she complete the triple on Sunday at Liege, Baston Liege, she will be the heavy favourite, that's for sure. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you at the men's recap later today. Ciao.